One of these days I'll remember to fix that. Anyway, what's up everybody? My name is Tentacle and welcome back to more Splatoon 3 Private Battles. It has been a very long time since I've done this. But at the same time, just like before, this will probably be a bit of a shorter stream. I'm talking like no more than two hours. But I still want to have fun with you guys in private battles while I got the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. That being said, who do we got in the chat? We got Tuesday, we got Rockman, we got Dylan, we got Big Shot, we got Prox, Pug Izzy, and I do believe that's everybody. And we got Lurkers as well, so welcome everybody. And what's up, Kuro? I think I'm gonna start with the Nautilus... <clears throat> the Nautilus 79, excuse me. I had dinner before I started the stream, and whatever I ate must have gotten stuck in my throat. I'm so sorry, guys. But anyway, here's how this is gonna work. This will be just like my Salmon Run stream from last time, but now you have to be here in the lobby to join me. You're gonna wanna enter the pool code as usual. If you guys need it, here it is. There's the pool code, you enter this. And then whenever I eventually make my private battle room, you're gonna need to stay in this menu and refresh it as soon as you see me send out the pool notification. It shouldn't take very long because I'm on ultra low latency. Also, what's up Trex? How you doing? Today's your birthday. All right then, happy birthday. Rockman was saying it was their birthday or it is going to be their birthday soon. Also, what's up JD and Bob? Hope y'all are doing well. Now then, Let's begin, shall we? No password this time. I only ever use passwords if I'm either a host or a guest in a collab. And I don't want viewers joining then for, you know, obvious reasons. Doesn't want to ruin the collab, you know. We've still got at least two more spots open. Make that one more spot open if anyone wants to join. I like to have at least a 3v3 active for the first lobby. If I can help it. Oh yeah, and while I'm waiting for this lobby to set up, let me go over the rules again a little bit real quick. I'm the one who makes the rooms, so I won't join any viewer rooms. Each room will have two games, and the mode will be decided by me. If we don't have very many viewers, join every other room. So, after you play in one room, sit out from the next one. Otherwise, start off by playing in one room, and then we'll see what happens from there. And of course, please don't complain the lobby's full. I always do first come first serve for my Splatoon 3 viewer streams, and I can't guarantee a spot for anyone. Also, no splatter color screen weapons until the audio issue gets fixed. So, yeah. I'm glad I remembered that last rule. That one's a very important one. You're gonna hop in? All right, Prox, I don't mind waiting. There you are. Let's get this rolling. And of course, randomized teams as I always do. Wow, ha, 
The first battle of the stream is on Marlin Airport. The new map that I barely got a chance to play last time because I was busy with the season of the nine colored deer in sky. That does end soon, by the way, so if you're... If you play Sky Children of the Light, you have two weeks left to finish the season of the Nine Colored Deer. It's a very good story. I highly recommend playing the season. Also, Bob, please don't mini-mod. I don't want to time you out. Okay, let's go. Will Fizzbang be in the next Splatfest? Yes, it will, Rockman, and I'm very excited. It's nice that they're letting us use Fizzbang throughout the entire Splatfest instead of just instead of just like day 2 or tricolor. I'm so happy they went with that decision. I can't wait to try it. Oh wait, I have Suction Bomb. I forgot. Sometimes I forget which sub-weapon goes with which Nautilus. Ah, oh, dang it! Thought I had you. Nice job there, Kuro. Oh, uh, yeah, for those who didn't see my last stream, I'm on Team Keyboard. I chose that team because A, I love the ink color, and B, I used to take piano lessons when I was a kid. Also, welcome back, Tuesday. Oh no. That was a really that was a really well-aimed shot there. Ah, dang it! What got me? I thought the burst bomb got me. Okay. Well played. By the way, I guess I might as well mention this. If any of you were worried yesterday that I was in a bad mood or something, I'm feeling a lot better today. I think taking a break from things for the weekend was nice. I do want to touch on that later, though, towards the end of the stream. Aw, oh, dang it! <laughs> I was about to say, thanks for pushing me forwards, Kuro. But that was tactical. That was dirty, but also really well played. I like that, I like that. I sometimes forget the Nautilus can hold a charge as well. Am I... <laughs> am I getting rusty? I hope not. Not before Splatfest. GG's. Dang. What was that? 1.3%? Now let me see. I think I'll stick with the Nautilus. I've played so much of the Glugadooly Decos and no not enough of this. Uh let me change my gear real quick. Let me see. I don't need swim speed. I need special power up. The only reason why I was using a swim speed up shirt there was because I was testing it with the Kraken Royale.
Nah, I don't want to wear this one. Let's just keep it simple. Hmm. Let me see. I'm not sure whom off the hook is in chat, but I'm going to spectate you for now. You're more than welcome to rejoin. I'm only doing this because this is the last match of this lobby, but there will be plenty more in the stream. You're more than welcome to rejoin if you want. I might see if I can if I can get a special power up plus run speed up combo with the Nautilus. I don't know. Just thinking out loud here. I like to take Splatfest sneak peeks and the Splatfest itself as a time to, you know, experiment with weapons. I just realized we played two Turf War battles in a row. I forgot to change the mode. Don't worry, though. I'll fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is, Prox. Ooh, nice triple ink strike there. Very well done. I'll go clean up the left side and then see what's up. Well, clean up in a relative sense, if you know what I'm saying. Nice dodge there, Pugizzy. You got out of the way of the triple splashdown. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your username, but welcome, Manjimal, to the stream. And yes, Tuesday, the pool code is the same. It's not showing up right now because there's a... <clears throat> excuse me. It's not showing up right now because there's a battle going on. Once I remake the room, it should show up. At least I hope it does. I've had situations where that hasn't worked in the past. They're rare, but they happen. I think I like this Nautilus. If the next season is the last major update, what are my hopes for it? Give us the Whirlpool King Salmonid. I'm so tired of it being left in the dark. I don't even know if it's gonna be a King Salmonid. But at this point, I don't care. Why make this ornate Salmon Run sticker and then do nothing with it? We got a Horror Boros sticker way before it debuted. So I'm just saying it could happen. Now I wonder what weapon I should play next. Oh yeah, also for for the last major season, I really hope they give uh, the custom range blaster, the splat bomb, and the kraken royale. You're hoping to see the reef again, but also more map reworks? That would be nice, but we'll see. An endless mode for side order. Yes! Manjimal gets it! 
That would that would also be really cool. Also, Bob, I'm only going to be playing the Splatfest this weekend. If there are Salmon Run rotations during Splatfest periods, I just play the Salmon Run rotation on my own time. Now, let's see. I really want to try the Recycled Brella. It feels like a good weapon. I'm just not used to it. I'm way more used to the Dowser Duelies. And just checking. Make sure everyone's in the pool. You feel like Nintendo's gonna update side order, maybe with new bosses? That is a possibility. Alright, JD and Tuesday joined, so rejoining is allowed for now. Until we get new viewers. There's Pugizzy again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a full lobby. Now let me make sure to change the <laughs> change the mode this time. Let's play some tower control. Ooh, maybe Tuesday. I remember that. Oh nice, we're playing on Robo Ramen. Again, another thing I need to get used to, despite it being in the last season. Also, thank you for that, Pug Izzy. Seems like a, <clears throat> a decent combo if I can swim forward fast enough. Or just walk forward fast enough, in all honesty. Also, ready up, Bob. We're waiting on you. There you go. Are you sure about that, says Prox. Oh boy. We'll see. Also, I like your splash tag title there, Tuesday. Very fitting, considering all the side order hype. Alright, let's see. I'm kind of glad I chose to stream this tonight because I wanted to have a stream where not only we do private battles, but I also finally get used to the fresh season weapons. Because it feels like I've had very little time outside of regular battles to do so. Oh, uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that Brella Shield does not last. Good thing this set runs Object Shredder. Nice combo there. More color chips, maybe something weapon specific. That would be nice. By the way, Manjimal, how do I pronounce your username? I want to make sure I don't mess that up in the future. Ah, dang it. Nice job there, Pug Izzy. I want to instinctively ink our spawn because of the double turf war. Stay in here, team. They can't hurt you. Or maybe they can. I shall hold the line for now. Nice. Not nice. 
Ooh, maybe you could... Maybe you could grind for that during Splatfest Tuesday. Sounds like you're really freaking close. Ooh, cooler. Yes, please. Surprise! Still got my big bubbler. Okay. This recycled umbrella is not that bad. I still like the Dowser Dooleys more. But I think I can get the potential of the recycled umbrella. Nice trade. I just barely didn't get the cooler in time, but oh well. Say la vie, as the French say. And away we go. Nope! This tower is stopping right there. Wow. There's jinxing, and then there's whatever the frick that was. Holy moly. charge up my big bubbler again if I can help it oh man I was trying to see if I could combo you there dang That endless pallet idea sounds interesting. But I have a feeling if Nintendo were to implement a bigger pallet, they'd have to max it out at some point, right? Or am I overthinking things? I don't know. Still seems like a cool idea. Yeah, I guess you're right there. If anything, I feel like both last chill season and this fresh season were both a callback to Splatoon 2. It's like the chill season 2023 was the start of the callback, if that makes sense. And I do agree that the reef should eventually be added. I just want to see Salt Spray Rig, the beloved. I've said this since the very beginning. My most wanted returning map in Splatoon 3 will always be the Salt Spray Rig map. If you've never seen it before, it's so much fun. Very well played, by the way. GG's. I'm not sure what you're trying to ask there, Tuesday. I'm sorry. Slosher falloff is so nasty on this map. It really is. I want to see something. Wow, 19 KOs. Amazing. Okay, let's do some Rainmaker. Oh, like points multipliers. I th think that's the case. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure freshness is multiplied during Splatfest for weapons. If that is not true, someone else in chat, please let me know. Oh, uh, this is fine. Now let's see, what else can I play? No screen weapons, of course. It's gonna be a while before I'm ready for that. Ooh, I know what I can play. I really need to get used to this thing.
you want to see either Starfish Main Stage or Skipper Pavilion return, those are also good options. If I had to guess, I think the final Splatoon 3 season is going to have one new map and one returning map instead of just one or the other. You know, I gotta admit, chat, I've never been the biggest fan of the Explosher. I don't like the piercing. It throws me off so hard, man. Maybe Urchin Underpass? That would be another good idea, Rockman. A nice way to wrap up the... The update cycle of Splatoon 3 with the first map ever in the game. Oh, someone's using the vanilla S Blast. Okay. That's amazing. Okay, wow! I'm sorry, Bob, but I didn't even know that was possible. That was completely unintentional. Urchin Underpass was the best? Yes, it was. I'd love to see that back if Salt Spray Rig doesn't make it back. Hmm. I think to focus on what's up here. Oh, you're playing the Vanilla Nova. Interesting choice there, Pug Izzy. I'm more of an Anarchy Nova guy myself. Someone grab that, please. I'll support you. Uh, let's see now. I'm using this way for a reason, unless you want to go that way. Oh dear, what happened? I think my game lagged. That ain't good. I'll charge up the triple splashdown first. Hmm. But yeah, apart from all that, I hope you guys are doing well tonight, or in whatever time zone you're in. Like I said, I'm feeling a lot better since the weekend. I got a lot of cool stuff planned for the rest of the month and into April. I've even got a really... What's, what's the best way to put it? I guess a really large scale... April Fool's Day content plan. It's gonna span the entire month of April, not just April 1st. So, <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Uh, welcome Jessica to the stream, but at the same time, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. But yeah, I'm kind of excited to share what my April Fool's Day plan is. I'll share more info a few days after Splatfest. Oh, spell check issue. Uh, we're playing private battles this time, Jessica. But if you want to join, then feel free to do so using the stream pool. I'll go over that after this battle's over, so just pay attention within, like, two minutes. Also, what's up, Fanta? How you doing? We're just over here playing a little bit of uh, private battles to de-rust before Splatfest. 
I really like the Nautilus 79. Oh no! I don't want to talk about it. I haven't done that since Splatoon 3 first came out. I feel so embarrassed. But there we go, GG's. Nice! Four stars on the Wiper Deco! You love to see it, Prox. I think I might swap weapons again. Not really sure. I've played all the fresh season weapons that I wanted to play. I'm not touching the custom E-leader with a 10-foot pole. Dang! JD with the 26 roller KOs. Amazing. Now, let me see. Are there any weapons I missed? Oh, duh. Never mind. Still got the Gluga Techos, the Dowser Duelies, and the Dreadringer D. Okay. Now let's see. If you guys are new here, I use the stream pool to do my viewer battle stuff now. So here's the pool code that you need and I will show you how to join it. First off, make sure you're in the lobby like this. Open the menu with L, scroll over to the little envelope icon right there in the corner. Make sure it's highlighted. Press plus, select okay. Enter the pool code, which I just entered in chat. Then you press yeah to join. And whenever I make the room, you will see it here after I send out the notification. I'll explain that in a moment once I create the room. Also, what's up, Raz? How are you doing? But okay, now that I've sent out the notification, you need to go back here and refresh until you see my room. Provided you're still in the pool, you should be able to join me that way. Please let me know if that did not work. Also, that's fair, Manjimal. I know Splatfest isn't for everyone. Whomever Mimic is in the chat, please make yourself known so I can put a username to a regular name. I still think, by the way, the Dreadringer is a good weapon. I just need some time to cook with it. Or, I guess I should say this Dreadringer. Does anyone else use the set alias option? Not me, Tuesday. I prefer to just stick with my channel name. You're in. Your username is Wolf. Nice, Jessica. Also, what's up, Subspace? How you doing? If you want to join the private battles, we got one more spot open, man. At least one more for a full squad. And we'll start with Clam Blitz this time. You were just popping in to say hello? Alright then, Raz. See you later. Good luck on the Splatfest if you're going to be playing that. I'm on Team Keyboard. Not wearing the shirt right now, but that's what I am. You're doing alright just resting after a day of work? Me too. 
Well, not really. It's more like personal life being busy. But same old, same old. It feels like work. There's JD, there's Tuesday, and we got one more spot in case you want to join subspace. Otherwise, I'll close the lobby, or close the waiting room and start the lobby. Jeez, I can't talk. Yeah, let's go! Team Keyboard Gang! You'll love to see it, subspace. I'd say wait for now, Pugizzy. You can rejoin after this lobby's over. You're just gonna watch today? All right. Then let's begin. Will I be playing with viewers for Splatfest? Yes, I will, Rockman. In fact, I am actually gonna be playing... Splatfest with Kuro, who's in the lobby right now. I've played with them before on extra work, and now we're taking the fight to Splatfest. Also, I'm sorry, Prox, but I gotta spectate you. I just picked a random person. No hard feelings, man. Pose for the fans. That's what that made me think of. Man, I love Rhythm Heaven Fever. Especially Ringside. If you've never played Rhythm Heaven Fever on the Wii, or Beat the Beat Rhythm Paradise if you're from the UK, you owe it to yourself to try it. Or at least watch gameplay of it. It's amazing. Yes, I did hear about Heaven Studio. It's custom Rhythm Heaven. That looks like fun. I might give it a try on my own time in the future. I don't think that's stream worthy for my channel. Now let's see, what kind of strategy can I cook for this? Speaking of cooking, nice one, Kuro. Oh no. Ah, just barely didn't make it. Nice triple splash down there, Rockman. Yeah, I saw it too, subspace. I'm not looking forward to it. Also, what's up, Binary? Haven't seen you in forever. Hope you're doing well. And welcome, Cosmics, to the stream. Hope you're doing well, too. I'm just over here playing some private battles. Both of you are more than welcome to join after this lobby's done. I'll be resetting the room every two games. Gotcha. Imposter, you're not the real one. Oh, that's fair, Cosmics. I hope you get better soon. Speaking of which, that just reminded me. If any of you are new here and like the vibe of this stream, I am a variety Nintendo streamer with an emphasis on chill vibes. And if that tickles your fancy, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed because I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs by the end of the year. I am very close. I need 60 more. Whoa, two people are playing the new Squiffer. Paste my wave breaker. It actually worked. <laughs> I was just doing a battle cry. Amazing. 
Dang, I'm in a good mood. Unrelated to this battle, but I am in a good mood. Oh, don't worry, Cosmics. I rarely play clams in private battles. If anything, since Splatoon 3 first came out, the frequency of my Clam Blitz matches in my private battle streams has really decreased. So, yeah. And that's fair, Binary. A lot of people came back to Splatoon 3 because of side order. Speaking of... I just remembered, I still need to do my all Lucky Chips Stamper Run. Would you guys be down for that? I kind of want to make it a speed run, too. Would you guys be down to watch my side order Stamper Run at 8.30 CDT? I think that'd be fun. See if I can get it done before 9 p.m. CDT. I honestly don't know how well I can speedrun side order. My Luna Blaster run ended with a sub 30 minute time, but that's because I had range and power chips. For this run, I'm only gonna do lucky chips. What Splatfest team are you guys on? I'm gonna be on Team Keyboard. So if you're also on that same team, you'll be able to join me and returning channel guest Kuro on Saturday. And just a little more clams right there. You're torn between drums and guitar? Okay then, Cosmics, let me offer you some advice. If you are unsure about what team to choose, then pick one based on whatever team has the most of your Switch friends or which of the two has your favorite ink color. Since you said you're torn between drums and guitar. You could either pick the one that has more of your Switch friends or the one that has your favorite ink color. That's what I do. And we're going back to Rainmaker. I bring that up every so often because, guys, I never pick a Splatfest team based on the idol. I don't think that's fun. Minus the deep cut splat fest, by the way, because I I definitely picked Big Man for that. Well, Prox, I don't know about that. If you guys remember, the Splatfest ranking system changed as of this update, so Things might be different. Oh, most of the time, yeah. That makes more sense. Never mind then. Actually, mm, you know what? Eh, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. I'm still gonna swap to side order at 8.30. I was thinking 8 p.m. instead, but no. I want to make sure I have plenty of time for both. If I go a little past 9 p.m., then so be it. I'm gonna try my hardest to make this stamper run a speed run, though. I 
I mean, they gotta make Salmon Run fun for those who don't want to play Splatfest, right, Subspace? That's always been the case, anyway. Oh, JD, if you're still in chat... Oh, someone disconnected. Sorry. If anyone disconnects, I have a new rule. Immediate battle end until whomever disconnected rejoins. I meant to say that at the beginning of the stream, but I forgot. My bad. It was Jessica that disconnected. You're more than welcome to rejoin if you want, Jessica. But if this continues... I will have to ask you to sit out for a bit so you can go fix your internet. You guys don't have to leave, by the way. We're gonna redo that battle. I just... wanted to make sure to give Jessica a chance to rejoin if they wanted. Oh, you gotta go anyway? Understandable, Rockman. See you later. Have a nice time zone. Let me see. Oh, someone joined. Oh, hey, it's binary. I love this song, by the way. No Quarters is probably my new favorite Splatoon 3 song. Your internet's not working? All right, then. I'll just, I'll just go start this lobby. Like I said, though, if you do get something working, you're more than welcome to rejoin. Ooh, let's go, Prox. Opinions on Octobrush users. Hmm, good question. See, here's the thing. I can't zip cast to save my life, but I can respect someone who mains the vanilla Octobrush really well. The Octo Nouveau is way more my play style. Nintendo really needs to add a feature that lets you play any song in private battles. Oh! You mean during private battles. Because, yeah, there's the jukebox, but I see what you mean. That would be pretty sick. Let's do it. I was kind of hoping <laughs> they'd play no quarters for this battle. That'd be funny if they did. Oh no! Who did it? Who disconnected? Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Uh... Was that you, Trex? We're about to find out. It wasn't you? Hmm. It was Tuesday. That is a rip. And hey, Jessica rejoined. Is Rainmaker on Eeltail Alley cursed, guys? I'll try it one more time. But if nothing... Or, bleh. If someone disconnects again, I'm changing the map. I still want to play Rainmaker. Oh, good. JD's playing Hydra. At least I think they are. Big Run messed up the stage. It really did, Fanta. 
I'm so used to the inkable walls that were on the big run version of Eel Tail. Can we have that back, please, game? Pretty please, I'm asking nicely. Also, uh, Binary? Your character really reminds me of another one I keep seeing. Can't remember the name, though, but... Your Octoling Girl character reminds me of someone. Also, what's up, Ron? How you doing? And ow, that hurt. Still got the cooler, though. Which means I still get my wave breaker. Well, if you were gone for a long time, Ron, welcome back. Wave going right there. That'd be lovely. Thank you, game. Wow, I still got that cooler. Oh, dear. Yeah, I was dead on the spot. I try to remember frequent viewers. Well, no, scratch that. That sounds really rude. I try to remember viewers' names. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Very unfortunate slip of the tongue there. But I hope you got what I meant. There you go. Nice teamwork. Oh, that... That would be very painful, Tuesday. But absolutely devious. Once again, nice teamwork. Oh, no. Wow, that still worked. Nice trade, Fanta. And, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ron. I hope you feel better slash did get better. Oh, I don't blame you, man. I do not blame you. I've never been skiing. But even still... That is nice, Tuesday, but remember to not jinx it. You don't want it to actually happen. Oh boy, let's see now. What's going on over here? Hmm. You know what? I think... I think I know what I want to do for the rest of the private battle section of this stream. We'll do two more ranked lobbies, one party lobby, then I'll swap to side order. Someone in your ranked lobby had the splash tag title, the one and only triple ink strike user. That's amazing. Ah, dang it. Well played there, Fanta. You know what? Hang on a second. I'm gonna scoot back in my chair real quick. Can you guys still hear me? This has worked when I'm in Discord VCs, but I don't know if it works on stream. Sorry if I sound different. Not so well. Dang. I've noticed that if I get too close to the mic... I noticed if I get too close to the mic, then my audio starts glitching. I did see that someone disconnected, but since this battle's almost over, let's just end it anyway. Green team, let purple team pick up the Rainmaker, please. We gotta end this battle quickly. Thank you. 
Better Than You Squid Sisters fan is another good title. That reminds me, I need to open up Splash Tag title submissions again in the future. Disconnect? Whatever, GG's. I do 100% agree, Prox. No more Eel Tail this stream. That got very laggy at the end. Uh, let me close the room. And nice, the music carried over. I think I'm gonna swap to the Gluga Decos. I cook with these. At least I try to. Hopefully you get a new one soon, Ron. Let's see. Zones. We'll remove Eel Tail from the random. Undying Umi Bozu. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, uh, Fanta? Don't call that very obscure around me, because you're talking to an amazing, diehard Pikmin 2 fan. I freaking love Pikmin 2. That is a Water Wraith reference. I would know that anywhere. Freaking hate the Water Wraith. Dang, I'm sorry to hear that, Cosmix. I legit had to look up Umi Bozu. It's literally just a water demon from Japanese mythology that shows itself as a gigantic humanoid. Yeah, I was about to say that earlier, JD, but the game kept interrupting me. We got two more spots open, by the way, if anyone wants to join. By the way, how's this for the volume? My mic audio, I should say. I want to make sure I can still be audible while also not being right here and glitching the frick out of my mic audio. I want to reserve that for jokes. When I get, like, really close to the mic and say something funny. Also, what's up, Taylor? How you doing? Sorry I did not say hi to you earlier. I was busy with a game. Oh, don't worry, Trex. You're fine. Everyone who wants to play has joined. So, I'm fine with rejoining. I also want to start my replay buffer before I forget, because there is something I want to show in this battle. I'm doing well too, Taylor. Glad you're doing well. Now let's see... I'll go random teams again, and then depending on what happens, I will change it from there for the next battle. If I'm doing really well, by the way, guys, I can cook with the Glugadooly Decos. They're so much fun! And I even learned a trick that I want to show you guys and turn into a clip after the stream is over. That way I can prevent side order spoilers. Even though I'm, like, nowhere close to beating it. Eh, yeah, whatever. Semantics! And good luck. Another good song. Now, let me see. 
first I need to charge up my Trizuka. That's step one. And then step two is to actually use the darn thing. I didn't aim very well, but hey, did you see that? The Trizuka canceled out the Glugadooly's end lag. It's a very niche trick that not very many people know about. My bad aim with the Trizuka is what cost me there. Gotcha. It also works for the Dowser Duelies? Yeah, it does. There's a better example of what I was talking about. Dang it. I'll play the Dowser Duelies next because I'm also really good with those in my opinion. Oh no, I got double marked. Ah, why did I throw double point sensor? Not one of my finer moments. Nice triple splashdown. Nice. Got you. So glad I ran away from that suction bomb. You almost got me there. I respect good charger players, but I can't play them myself to save my soul. I'll get you one of these days, you two. Uh, hmm. Anyone got a recommendation for Tuesday? I say Heavy Splatling Deco. Become one with the heavy. You know you want to. Come on! I pressed the right stick. Whatever. Well played then, JD. I'll get that Trizuka pop off eventually. The only reason why I'm underperforming with the Gluga Decos is because I haven't touched these in a while. That was just a cavalcade of disasters. That all led into what could only be described as a happy accident. Gotcha. React to this! Ah, dang it, you were behind the wall. I love how everyone's reaction to people saying the Trizuka is busted is just, just react forehead. It really isn't that simple. Something about the Trizuka hitbox is jank, and I don't like it. There we go. Very nice. That's not nice. Ouch. thinking I may have to change up the teams for the next battle at this rate. We cannot let them win! I was so close there, dude. I think they just won. Holy mackerel, they won! Wow!
Wow, GG's. That was intense. Left me speechless. But okay, I think I am gonna have to swap the teams a little bit. Cause that, woo, holy moly. Now, how am I gonna swap them is the question. That's the question on everyone's mind. Let's see. Definitely gonna split up JD and uh, whom else? JD and Prox are gonna be on separate teams. And hmm, let me let me see if I can look at that. And Kuro... Nah, actually. I think just swapping JD and Prox would be good enough, because you two were krilling it out there. I'm swapping off the Gluga Decos. Dang it, I already... Yeah, there we go. Dowser Dooleys. I wasn't able to clip the uh, Trizuka and lag cancel that I was talking about, but I still hope you guys got what I was trying to do there. I do like the Dowser Dooleys, it's just that they're so ink hungry. And I play a weapon or a gear build with zero main saver or ink recovery, so... It's tough, man. It's tough out here. Now, ah, whatever. I'll figure something out. Let's do it! Dang. Game's really a fan of Yoko's music. But I wouldn't blame you. She's rad. I still like Harmony the most. Out of all the non-idle music groups in Splatoon. I really thought I had you there, JD. This is what I get for being overconfident. Let me charge up the killer whale and see if what chat was saying was correct. Yeah! That is... Wow, that's a night and day difference. Holy moly. Amazing. Hmm. No, you don't. Oh, maybe you do. Yes, because this end lag is miserable. I mean, only if you want to, Cosmics. I'm not that good with chargers, but maybe you are. Also, we are definitely running this back. Holy mackerel, this was unbalanced. Wait, unless... No, no, we're definitely running this back. Wow! That was rude. JD, but also really well played. I hate that. I hate how good that was. Uh, Cosmics, to put things into perspective, I'd say the only charger I'm good with is the classic Squiffer. Holy moly. Actually, never mind. This went past the halfway point, so I'm not gonna run it back. 
as much as I want to. I think it would be better to just move to the next lobby, especially considering I want to do my side order run tonight. And because it's so close to 8.30, I think we'll just move to the party lobby after, after this, since it's so close to 8.30. That'll also give me noti- or er, notify. Time to notify Twitter. And before anyone in chat says something, call it what you like, I'm still calling it Twitter. I've had chat members get on my case about that before. Yeah, you see what I mean, Cosmics. I was either going to get sniped in the face or it was going to be an amazing KO, and I think the former just happened. Jeez. The Dowser Duelies are not one that I can be aggressive with. Save that for the end parry Duelies. Apparently, the official pronunciation of that gear brand is en parry, not on parry, like the phrase on guard. I might flip-flop between the two because I honestly do like on parry better. Hey, get out of here! There you go. Double killer whale. It's like double spinning edge, but Splatoon. Yeah, they won. GG's. Yeah, apparently, Zipcaster is apparently really good with the new Squiffer. I don't see it, but hey, people have been cooking with it, so I'm going to take their word. Now, I want to see how many KOs Kuro got. Because they were popping off. Jeez! 24! Wow. Okay. That is certainly something. All right. Gonna remake the lobby, and this is gonna be a turf war only lobby. No splatting anyone, we're gonna be partying. Uh, I'm also gonna change the music again because I love this song. You're not joining for that one, but GG's anyway. Fair enough, Kuro. Stick around, though, because we're going to be swapping to side order after this. Let's actually... Hmm. I'll just make this one party only instead of two. One party, turf war... No splatting. Meet me in the center of the map for a photo. Gonna leave this lobby open a little more in case anyone wants to join. That hasn't yet, anyway. That's you, Tuesday? All right. And I think I know who that is. The joke has been revived or reanimated. Ah, whatever. Let's just do this. 
Let's go to Robo Ramen. That's fair, Cosmics. But yeah. Side order will be right after this. There will be spoilers for repeat runs, by the way. Gonna change the title. And I'll change the description, too, so I don't forget to after the stream is over. There we go. All right, then. Remember, no splatting anybody, and meet me in the center of the map for a photo. That will be posted on stream instead of the Trizuka clip. Let's go over here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice one, Prox. One, two, three, four. We're missing somebody, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Never mind, we're all here. And three, two, one, say Fuzzy Pickles. There. Hey, someone brought a friend. Dang it! I should have... Ah! I should have used the Nautilus. That way I could have splashed down off the map. Oh, well. You know what? I can do the next best thing. Gentlemen, slap my hand. Ah, there you go. You got the reference. Hey, who did it? Who did it? Shoes day? There. Don't worry, you're fine. I was just I was just pulling your leg. All's good in Splatsville, which is the neighborhood. Are there any weapons that scare me? I've said this before, Cosmics. A good E-Leader player can scare me. Ooh, wait! Guys! Guys, guys, guys! Hang on! I just remembered! Did you know that there is a rumor you can go to the very top of the ramen bowl if you have a Zipcaster weapon? I'm not using one, but I've heard it's possible. I want to try that sometime, probably in recon mode. Not tonight, though. We got a side order run to do. Oh, jeez. That is a... <laughs> that is a... What's the word? Composition. Holy moly, I'm so sorry, subspace. The ramen part counts as a water surface? Okay, that's freaking amazing. I did not know that. Thanks for the cool fact there, JD. And now, it's time to swap over to side order. Attempting a... No, and all lucky chip stamper sp 
speed run in Splatoon 3 side order. Alright then, title's been changed, so I'm going to notify Twitter that we're swapping over, because this is going to be amazing. Switching over to side order now. Oh, by the way. If you guys have never seen my side order Octoling before, I brought back my Octo Expansion OC. Her name is Emma. I thought this would be a nice way to make an alternate timeline for her, you know? Now, I want to see how fast I can get through this while only selecting Lucky Chips. I'm also going to be prioritizing chips that I haven't maxed out yet. Not going to read the dialogue this time either. Uh, reset Marina. Thank you very much. Going to need all the crab I can get. Also, what's up, Flagman? How you doing? You came in just in time to see me try a Stamper speed run in Splatoon 3 side order. Oh, uh, subspace, first off, that's possible with charger only, as far as I'm concerned. And second, it's because you can exploit side order really well if you're good enough at it. I'm not. There are plenty of videos out there explaining how. Uh, reset again. And whatever, lucky chain window. I said I was going to prioritize lucky chips. I may pick some unoptimal floors, but at this point, I don't care. Apparently, from what I've heard, portals are the best levels for speedrunning. That's cool, Prox. Uh, you get out of here. Aw, oh, man, I was trying to see if I could get that sprinkler enemy. Uh, I hate to be that guy, Flagman, but I hard disagree. It pays to take your time in the harder side order levels. I understand where you're coming from, but it might help. Sometimes. I don't know. Everyone's experiences is d are different. Excuse me. But that's personally helped me. Oh, sorry, Cosmics. I'm... I was kind of, uh... How do you say... Focused on the game. My bad. What am I doing? I have crap. There we go. Not the cleanest run, but eh. We're ballin'. Even though there's no baller. Double can special! And it's a portal level! Give me infinite crab! Not really. I just get a really high chance of getting infinite crab. 
But yeah, like I was saying earlier, everyone's side order experiences are different. I found it useful to take my time in some situations, but not every time. A Splashomatic user's dream, right? No, no, I said crab. I do not condone that sort of thing, Cosmics. These gelatins are idiots. One more. There you go. Clean. I want to see if I can get another sub-30 minute run. Max Lucky Chain. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. And it's another portal level. Also, Flagman, if you want another piece of advice, if you want a weapon that's, like, easy to play it safe with, use the Splatter Shot. If you haven't beaten it with Splatter Shot yet, I highly recommend it. That's a good idea, Fanta. I know a lot of people are on spring break right now. So, if you got time, why not try side order again? Nope. Sorry, Marina. There you go. That's better. I still need to max out drone batteries, so... Might as well. Ooh, Cosmics, you really gotta try Side Order. It's so good, and... <gasps> Let's freaking go! Color Chip Saturation! But no more gushing about it. It's Power Color Chip Saturation 2, which is really rare for the Stamper. I'm gonna clear this floor in no time flat. And this counts as a rigorous floor. That top enemy kind of slowed me down, but that does not matter. Seriously, though, if I didn't mess up my crab, I could have gotten sub 20 seconds. Disc piece drop. Yes, please. Mobility saturation is also fun. Yeah, depends on the weapon. It's really useful with chargers. Yeah, you scared! Aren't you? Get over here. They're all grouped up right there. They don't see it. Aw, oh, man. It barely missed. Oh, well. Meh, whatever. That's still pretty clean. Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. Would you mind re-asking your question? Bomb drop. Yes, please. Hmm. What's this one? Portals again? Never mind. This level's easy. And we just go over here, then do that. And boom! One down! Then we take this ink rail. Oh, what does the color chip saturation mean? That means for that level only, you get a bunch of 
random color chips that share a color. So in that one portal level, I got a bunch of power chips. Those are pretty good bonuses. Depending on when they show up. Ooh, wait, I have to fight the parallel cannon with all lucky chips. This could go south if I'm not careful. I am definitely going to need the ink recovery, though, considering. Come on, hurry up, game. Get rid of you while I got the time. I didn't know Pearl had a unique animation for when you picked up a battery. That's cool. Oh, this is so unoptimal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm no speedrunner. Look at that, 50 seconds. What a travesty. I'll see if I can make it up with the parallel cannon fight. At least this is pretty easy on the 10th floor. Let's go again. Did you know, by the way, the parallel cannon that copies your last played inkling is the one that has the splatter shot. I learned that a while ago, and I don't think I've ever shared it. All of the other parallel cannon copies are just featureless inklings. As you can see, the second one that just came in right there is going to have the splatter shot. See? That one copied my last played Inkling, who just so happens to be my Agent 4 OC, Chase. These parallel cannons will meet their end at the hands of my, or the mandibles of my crab tank. Oh wait, the other one's right there. I'm a moron. There you go. And instant key get. Very good. I've gotten sub 110 before. Let's go to the vending machine. Hmm. That's weird, Cosmics. I've never seen that before. Max Lucky Chain! Yes, please! And I got just enough for a reset, too. One more reset? Bah! Nothing. I shouldn't have pushed it. Also, what's up, Hasume? How you doing? You came in here just in time to see me do a side order speed run. Or at least try to. Because I'm no speedrunner. When I eventually beat every weapon in side order, I want to try to do an Octobrush speedrun. Octobrush was actually the weapon I wanted to play next after the Stamper, but it's going to be a very interesting strategy, which I'll reveal towards the end of the stream. Oh no, this is very inefficient. Get out of here. How do 
did I not get my special there? That's weird. Well, I got one of them. <laughs> Holy mackerel! That was amazing! <laughs> the splash damage got him! The freaking splash damage got him! Oh boy, I'm not going to be able to top that for a while. That was amazing. Pausing there in case I want to make that into a short later, which I probably will. <laughs> I can't get over that. That was amazing. So many lucky bombs. I love it. I destroyed those gelatins as they were coming out of the portal. Give me all that and more. Oh no. I hope you stay safe then, Fanta. When I'm not doing one color runs of side order, I can breeze through that level in no time, by the way. Let's get this one. Aw, don't worry about that, Fanta. Slosher can be pretty good if you get the right chips. Oh, I know that feeling, Fanta. When I was a kid, I used to be scared of thunderstorms. Wait, what? That's the quickest step-off song I've ever gotten in my life. Okay, this run is turning out to be amazing. Let's get the other eight ball in quickly. Or infinity ball or whatever the heck it's called. I'm not going to make a highlight video out of this stream. I want my reactions to this run to be raw and unedited. Woo boy! Vending machine again. Why not? Maybe I'll get lucky and, and actually get lucky chips this time. Yes, can special. Yes, I can special. I've maxed that out. That's good. Now let's hope I can max out even more. Really wish you could skip that, but whatever. Disc drop. Even if that means I eventually get all three danger floors at one point, I don't care. Also, what's up, Alyssa? How are you doing? I'm trying to attempt a lucky only stamper speed run of Splatoon 3 side order. So far, it's not going so well, but that could change. Oh, it's already over there. I didn't even need to stick around. Bye, enemies. Let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. That's a lot better. Probably could have used the crab here instead, but we will manage, won't we? Ah! 
Unoptimal. I hate unoptimal. Or unoptimization, if you want to call it that. Get out of here, and then... The last little bit of the crab, we do that. All right, what's your question, Alyssa? I'll see if I have an answer. There we go. Not bad. A little shaky at the beginning, but we picked it up. You love to see it. Please, game, give me a danger level that has a lucky chip. Ranged color chips work. Also, no, Alyssa. Stringers and chargers are separate weapons. I got all the range and turf coverage in the world, baby! I am loving this run already. Yes, that's correct. Alyssa, the answer to that question is no. Battery drop again. It's another zones level, but at this point, I do not care. We'll go for the bottle drops next. Wow, that... Pretty much maxed out my lucky chain. It didn't really, but it sure felt like it did. Uh, Cosmics, maybe, maybe you can find an answer by, I don't know, Googling it? I'm sorry. I wish I could help you with that sort of thing, but perhaps there's an answer on... Nintendo's website or something or maybe other people have had the same experience because I'm pretty sure This has been a problem before But yeah, the best advice I can give is see if you can look up a an answer Okay, now you're gonna make me reset game No lucky chain window. Finally! Let's get this danger out of the way so I never have to play it again. This run. I could have gotten the ink bottle drop, but I just wanted to get rid of the danger. Arpeggio Garage. Not that good with zones, but we'll make something work. Especially if I do this. Look at how much stuff I just got there, though. That was amazing. Going up here gives these arpeggios room to move around. There's the other disc. Peace. Give me my zone back. Look at all that stuff. That's amazing. And the enemies can't come in fast enough.
maybe try uninstalling and reinstalling Splatoon 3, like Tuesday was saying? Is that the way to fix it? Or does Splatoon 3 even have cloud saving? Oh, by the way, guys, let me show you a trick. You can reset boss floors! Bet you didn't know that. That's how it worked for you? Then yeah. That might be worth it, Cosmics. And Taylor just confirmed that Splatoon 3 does have cloud saving, so yeah, go for it. That seems like your best answer at the moment, Cosmics. Oh, wait! This lucky run also lets me show off something else that I've been wanting to show off for a while. Not yet, though. I need another disc piece. There it is. Give it a second. Wait until this, this boss stops doing its thing. And it starts up again. Oh, wait, never mind. I only had one disc piece. I need all three for this to work. Why are you throwing toxic mist? Stop being so toxic, game. Stop giving me that. I need another disc piece. There, let's destroy that other one too. It was throwing all the toxic mist. And it's still throwing toxic mist. There, another disc piece. Watch this. Whenever you use the step off song, it affects any mini boss as they would whenever they like stop a big attack so in the case of the asynchronous rondo it immediately starts smoking like it does after a really big bomb attack like that see and it's done Oh, uh, Cosmics, if memory serves, I can show you a trick. Give me a second. Let's see. If you go to data management, manage software, and then delete the software, and then re-download it, you should still have your save data. I could be wrong, but Tuesday, you're more than welcome to mention something else if I got that wrong. But I'm pretty sure you have to go to manage software to fix it. Maxed out disk piece drop. Maxed out ink bottle drop. And why not? This too. Just to get a little more armor. And more armor.
Sorry, I need to pause this. I'm trying to look something up. Hmm. Okay, yes, I was right. If you go to manage software and then delete software, you can still re-download whatever you got from the Nintendo eShop. I believe. This might be for digital software. Actually, no. I think it might apply. I don't know. But yeah, Tuesday is right. Whenever... Whenever you re-download it, if it worked, it should say on a separate screen that you would also have 2.5 gigs in DLC to download. So yeah. Remember, Cosmics, if you go to System Settings, Data Management, Manage Software, and then delete Splatoon 3, you should be able to re-download it. No, we're not going to Pokemon, we're staying here. And you're asking me to not jump with the Stamper? Tall order, but I think I can manage. Give me all the lucky bombs, game! I don't even need the disc pieces. Maybe I do. The step off song is nice. We gotta kick this run into high gear, though, if I wanna get another sub 30 minute time. Step off song. That's what I need. That was just a bunch of barrages of ink blasts right in front of the screen. So, yes, you're re downloading it right now, Cosmics. If that strategy worked, it should say there are also 2.5 gigs of DLC to download. Again, not another clean run. But whatever, we'll see what happens at the end. After I beat the big bad. Maxed out battery drop! And hey, if I for some reason max out my entire palette, I get to show you guys another trick that I learned about side order recently. I'm in the zone here, game. I don't need that right now. There we go. Look at all that stuff, though. A 
disc, please. Yes. And down it goes. Sub one minute. Not bad. I've gotten much better runs on that before. Eh, I already have that. Besides, this is an all-lucky run. Wait, I was this close to maxing out Max Lucky Chain? Alright. But at the same time, there's this. Sorry. Just an ink coating, please. At least I get to hear the cool madness combat music again. Wait, what am I doing? Hang on. You, get out of here. And this will help a little bit. I'll take this back. Also, what's up, Brad? How are you doing? Let me see if I can do this from up here. Not bad. Could have been a little cleaner, but not bad. Still getting in, still getting the disc pieces, which I love to see. Just let me have this zone for the rest of this round, please, game. That's better. One of these days, I'll get a better, clear time on that. Vending machine. Whoa, uh, stream preview. We good? Not dropping any frames, so I assume we're good. Triple strike! More lucky chips! No! More lucky chips! No! Actually, I'm gonna save it. Triple link strike is so good! On pretty much any side order run, if I'm being real. So, let's see. Yep, max lucky chain window. It says the download's gonna take 22 minutes. Who wants to bet it's gonna take double and if not an hour? That's a mood. I've noticed download times for games depend on how many people are active on the game right then. And both your internet and Nintendo's servers overall. Especially if you're re-downloading something. Now, hang on a second. While I'm doing this level, do you guys... Ah, let me start over. Is it just me, or does this music really feel like it fits in Paper Mario? I'm not, I'm not alone on thinking this, right? This music sounds like it would fit in Paper Mario 2 or Super.
You can totally see that, right guys? It's so good. There it is, there's the disc. And there goes the enemy. <laughs> Still not as funny as the crab. Armor drop? Yes, more, more! Game? You will do me a humongous favor if you give me two armor chips within the next two floors. Oh wait, I already got the other disc piece. And I'm glad you guys agree with what I'm talking about. The vibe of the third gelatin stage, or the third fleeing enemies stage music fits Paper Mario so well. Okay, another disc. Why not? Hey, new clear time for this floor. Sub 120. Ah, no. I'll max out the max lucky chain then. It's fine, it's fine. I'll go for armor drop a different time. Maybe on my own. Don't jump again! This is gonna be very tough, considering... Oh, by the way, these springboards don't count as jumps. I feel like not very many people know about that. Oh no, am I about to lose a life here? Yes, I am. And yes, that's that's true, Cosmics, but at the same time it counts as spoilers, so I don't want to elaborate for the sake of that, you know? In any other instance, I would, but I don't want to spoil you since you haven't played Side Order yet. See if I can try something. One, two, three. Oh no, I got greedy. Please, game, don't make me lose now. I've come so far. All right, time to get serious. Well, as serious as I can be because, you know, look at this. First things first, we're getting rid of you and your friend. We're also activating all of those tops because why not? Step off! That was cool. Thank you, Pearl. Not today, game. I'll take armor now, please, game. Whoa, that was close. 
Almost had a friggin' heart attack. I'll take more armor, please. with me oh that felt good okay can I finally get an armor drop piece or no actually let's stock up on lives first then armor Already maxed out lucky bombs. Armor drop, yes! Oh, wait. <laughs> the travesty. Oh, no. This is what we're having going into the final floor. One day I'll get armor drop maxed out. One day. At least we got full lives going into the final battle. Uh, yeah, spoilers happening, by the way. Spoiler warning for the repeat battles. Final battles. I'll give you guys a little bit of time before I go forward. There we go. Let's do this. And hey, I get to do an impression of this guy again. Smallisk, even if you do stop us, you don't have the power anymore to bring about that world of order. You get that, right? Shut your twap if it's all right with you. Anyway, you started it. All of you are the reason why everyone wants a world that never changes. What do you mean it's our fault? Oh, everyone will be happy with me when I crush you. They'll tell me I'm a good little program. So get ready. My tentacles will snap you like twigs. Now what rematch is this? Number six. Also, what's up, Lando? How you doing? You arrived just in time to see me beat the tar out of Smallisk. I'm all ready for a fight, please. Dang, if I had just a little bit of main firing speed, I could have made my stamper on beat with this song. Its official name is Short Order, by the way. I like the double meaning. Problem is, my main weapon has such a low damage output, I'm gonna have to rely on Triple Ink Strike. Probably could have timed that a little better, obviously. Yeah, short order because Smallisk is so tiny. And this is a rematch against, technically, the Overlorder. And you make short work of it if you have a really good palette. So, short order. Twice. When will I get another disc piece game? Oh, 
hopefully soon. You dang gelatins! Stop hogging my triple ink strike space! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh no! Unoptimal, unoptimal. I hate being unoptimal. There we go, that's better. Something tells me I should have stayed with the crab tank. I'm only getting started, he says. Wow, that broke my armor instantly. Okay, never doing that again. Step off! Oh, that's... <laughs> that's amazing. Tuesday. I never knew that. Look at all that stuff. I'm letting the items carry me through the final battle. get to wail on smallest some more and the portals over there great now he whips out the stingray jerk step off again i'll do it i ain't scared that's what you get don't interrupt me while i'm tripling striking says oh no he's actually got good aim so maybe this battle does actually get harder as you progress oh this is so unoptimal come out everyone protect little smallest isn't that a little bit of an oxymoron there dude i get what you're saying but man I'm gonna squish you into octopus pate. Uh, final blow with the triple ink strike. Get absolutely wrecked. Or not. Not quite. Ah! Boom! No, I said boom! That's better. Oh, I can't wait to see how terrible this run ended. But there we go. Smallisk is down for the sixth or seventh time. I got snapped into eight pieces. Wah. Uh, what did you mean when you said we're the reason Octolings won a world that never changes? <laughs> You dummies gotta know by now how many Octowings went to the surface over the past five years or so. The Octowing world used to be peaceful and stable, but it's changed, all because of the block has longed to live on the surface. Not everyone was cool with the mass exodus. You're saying the members devs felt that way too? Which is why an unchanging world was so appealing to them. 
Yup, everyone hates the dummies who threw away the old Octowing world. That means you, Aiden Marina. Oh, good gravy. It was over 30 minutes. No. The travesty. I was so close to sub 30. Guaranteed if I had not wasted so much time on striking forces in unison and the final battle, I would have nailed sub 30. But whatever, that's still good. I got a lot of lucky chips maxed out. I finally got the order stamper replica and I'm almost at 2000 pearls. I'll take it. Anyway, my next side order run is going to be with the Octo Brush, and I'm going to try an Infinity Ink exploit. You'll see what I mean whenever it happens. I need to I need to select a bunch of very specific chips for this Octo Brush run to work if I want to do Infinity Ink. Also. Remember how I said a while ago that I might be taking a break next month? I mean it. That's why I said my April Fool's Day plan was going to last the entire month instead of just April 1st. I'm going to be taking a break from here completely for one week in April. I don't know which week yet, but... I really need this break, man. I've been feeling burned out. I was sort of feeling that effect in my last stream. And I do think it's for the best that I take a complete YouTube hiatus at some point. I'll still try to be active in other people's channels like I usually am. But for that week, I'm not going to work on anything on my channel. Not even stuff that I've already recorded. I know you guys may not like it, but I really do think it's for the best that I do this. But now... That's going to be it for the stream, so don't go anywhere... It's time for the raid. Let me see if I can find someone who's playing Splatoon 3 right now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not raiding them. That's spoilers. Let's pick someone else if I can. No, 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 not that. A lot of foreign language streams. Ha, there's my stream. Ooh, I know whom we can raid. Ah, dang it, never mind. Sub-only mode. Mm. Rats. This is a little harder than I thought. Eh, whatever. Let's raid that bald gamer. I had someone in mind that I wanted to raid, but they're playing a really heavy spoilery part of Side Order, so we're raiding that bald gamer instead. Let me see if I can redirect to his stream. I can! Nice! Okay! Bald gamer's gonna be hunting for shiny Jirachi in Pokemon Colosseum. He's got legit stuff and everything. It's nuts. So the link to Bald Gamer's stream will appear after I end mine. And when you get there, type hashtag tentacle raid in the chat. I'll give you guys a moment to copy it. If things go according to plan, my next stream should be Wednesday. Also at 7 p.m. CDT. 
I'm going to be playing through the Fungi Mines in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That's going to be fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching this stream, and I'll see you then. Have a great night, everybody. This has been Tentacle signing out.